The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned earlier this week that the world must take action on Afghanistan, saying that the country is at a make or break moment. But how much will that pledge from G20 leaders yesterday go towards helping the country out of its crisis? Well, to help us answer that question, we can talk now to Graham Smith. He's a senior consultant for Afghanistan at the International Crisis Group. Oh, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the, on the program. We've heard about that multi-billion dollar pledge. Of course, this cash is, has to be channeled through the United Nations. How is that going to work? And is it enough? Uh, no, it's not enough. And uh, nobody can really tell you how it's going to work, unfortunately. Uh, the international community was caught by surprise when the Taliban uh, captured the country on the 15th of August. And ever since then, they've been sort of making it up as they go along. Um, it's actually never happened before that uh, listed terrorists take over an entire country. And so there are all these very complicated implications. Uh, development funding has been uh, slammed shut. Um, uh, sanctions now uh, seem to apply very broadly to huge sections of the economy, which is why you, uh, part of the reason why you see these pictures of Afghans lining up outside of banks. Um, there's a liquidity crisis. No one can physically get uh, any money because um, the uh, Americans used to be flying in uh, shipments of cash for weekly currency auctions that are no longer happening. And so there's a, a currency crisis. It's all of these overlapping concerns all at the same time. Uh, so it's a very difficult set of issues for the international community to untangle. Is it only a matter of time then before we, you know, the international community is forced to recognize the Taliban? Will that help or hinder matters? Well, diplomatic recognition uh, is actually a separate thing. Um, the, the very first uh, steps that need to be taken are uh, further easing of the sanctions so that it becomes legal, for example, to uh, bring in spare parts for mobile phone towers, uh, so that it becomes legal to uh, import electricity uh, into the country. You know, just these really basic, basic things. Um, diplomatic rec recognition, um, all of the uh, international uh, community members have said this will depend on how the Taliban behave uh, in the coming months and years, that they're not interested really as much in what the Taliban are saying, but what they will do. Um, they are uh, focused, for example, on whether or not uh, secondary schools for girls continue to open up, as they have started to in a few provinces, but um, the... Uh, international diplomats gathered there in Doha have all been raising these concerns about the status of women and girls uh, under the Taliban government. And so you, th those are the kinds of uh, more broad issues, I think, that you'll see um, people raising when they start talking about uh, diplomatic recognition in the future.